In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to keep QuickBooks Online in Classic View. If you're someone who appreciates the traditional layout and functionality of QuickBooks, you'll find this guide particularly useful. Switching to the Classic View allows for a more familiar interface that many longtime users prefer. So, if you're ready, let's get started on this simple process, which should only take about five minutes. First, you'll need to navigate to QuickBooks Online. Open your preferred web browser and type in the URL or select the site from your bookmarks if it's saved there. Once you're on the homepage, you'll notice the sign in button prominently displayed in the top right corner of the screen. Click on this button to proceed to the login page. Now you'll be prompted to enter your login credentials. Type in your email address and your password associated with your QuickBooks online account. It's essential to ensure that the email and password are correctly entered to avoid any sign in issues. If you happen to encounter any problems, utilize the forgot password option to reset your access details properly. With your credentials entered, go ahead and click on the sign in button. Depending on your internet connection, it might take a few seconds, but you should soon be redirected to your account dashboard where you'll see all your QuickBooks data and features. Once logged in, direct your attention to the left hand menu on the dashboard. You'll see several options, but the one we are interested in right now is reports. Click on reports to open up the available reporting tools within QuickBooks Online. It's a section where you can analyze your financial data through various report types. Within the reports section, you will find multiple report options. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be selecting profit and loss. This report provides an overview of your income and expenses over a specified period and is a popular choice among business users. So click on profit and loss to generate the report. With the report open, you'll notice various options at the top or within the view itself. Look for an option labeled switch to classic view. Clicking this option will revert the interface to the classic layout that many users find familiar and easier to navigate. This view change should immediately reflect in your current session. An important thing to keep in mind is the labeling of the option. If you see switch to modern view, it signifies that you are already in the classic view mode and there's no further action needed. The system automatically displays the correct option based on your current view, so it simplifies the process greatly. That's essentially it. You've successfully learned how to keep QuickBooks online in classic view, providing you with a comfortable and familiar interface to work with. It's always good to know how to switch views, especially when QuickBooks continuously updates and enhances its platform. This ability to personalize your user experience can lead to more efficient accounting processes and a more pleasant workflow. As we wrap up, remember that the ability to toggle between classic and modern views allows you a degree of flexibility in how you consume and interact with your financial data. If ever you feel the need to switch back to the modern view, just repeat these steps and select the appropriate option to change views. This adjustment is non-destructive, meaning no data or settings will be lost, making it safe to switch views as you see fit. If you have found this tutorial helpful, please consider sharing it with coworkers or anyone else who might benefit from maintaining the classic view in QuickBooks Online. Your feedback is invaluable, so feel free to leave any comments or suggestions you might have for future tutorials. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you enjoy your renewed classic QuickBooks experience.